What's up, Daroni? Steven here. Welcome back to yet another reaction. Today, we are hopping into Battlestar Galactica. Hopefully, you've been enjoying the series. This is episode number seven, Six Degrees of Separation. Uh, last episode um, was the suicide bomber episode where uh, one of the Cylons came on, just killed themselves, blew up the ship. A lot of people got killed um, and hurt. Essentially, we had to do this thing where we had, do we tell, do we not tell? Uh, they questioned a bunch of people. Um, uh, what's the one dude's name? The, the um, engineer guy. He essentially ended his stuff, his uh, relationship with Boomer. Boomer took it in an interesting, she took it kind of hard, I get, but she also, you didn't, I thought she would have understood. Uh, that was weird. Not weird, but I don't know. I just figured Boomer would have been a bit more mature than that and understood the situation. Read the room. Homeboy took the call for you guys. Um, things like that. Uh, but yeah, we're going to hop in here. Have a good time. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Patreon if you want fully uncut and edited reactions and episodes early. Uh, yeah, pretty much here we go. Is she still alive? Or alive? She was on Earth. She didn't die. Only you can give yourself over to. Is she still alive? Right? Is she... Oh, for God's sake! Maybe we can dispense with Paul Fett. Get right down to. What did you say? Holy crap! <laughs> that um, that was nothing. I was uh, I was just talking to myself. Flowers could open up, but not. Excuse me. Just a thought. You wanted to see me, Commander. Miss Godfrey has brought some very disturbing accusations to my attention. I think Wait, she is she, she really there? Them. Standing right there. I'm right here. <laughs> uh, doctor, this is Miss Godfrey. <laughs> <clears throat> Whoa. He you knows she's a Cylon. Okay, this is interesting. Slightly puzzled to make your acquaintance. Don't touch me, you traitor. Uh -huh. She talked to me. You talked to me. You're the one who let the Cylons into the defense mainframe. You betrayed your entire race. Oh, this is a dream. You're the man responsible for the Holocaust, and I'm here to see that you're exposed and sentenced to death as the traitor you really are. Wait, is this not a fucking dream? What the fuck is happening? Dr. Amarak told me he had evidence that Dr. Balta was involved in the sneak attack. Okay. He was trying to reach the president and give her that information when he was killed. He told you oh, that, did he? Shit. Yes, as a matter of fact. Well, it's a pity he's no longer with us. How convenient that we only have your word for that. Mm. There's also this. Yeah. Oh, Fright shit. That. Dr. Amarak Ooh, Gaius, this is bad. What, as opposed to Arthur, Who the fuck Gaius? is this? Is this... Amarak gave the disc to me. Which one? Hmm. On the disc is a photo. It was captured from the security camera in the defense mainframe on Caprica photo is carrying an explosive device. Get the fuck out of here. He's... I oh, just they... never did that. Just before the Cylon attack, the entire defense mainframe was destroyed by this device. As Kareth Reyes returns to the world of the walking, can she do it or will she fall on her ass? <laughs> You're being annoying. For the gods, I'm going to beat the crap out of both of you as soon as I get better. <laughs> I have reason to believe a Cylon. Come on, say it. She may be a Cylon. <clears throat> Madam President. Hello? What the Hello. fuck happened to her? Get in the wireless. Get Doc Connell over here now. The President's collapsed. Madam President. Hello? Come when you are not going to be able to hide what you're going through. But is... Is Adama after? Like, that's would he be the guy that takes shot. over? Thank you. It's the one on your bum. I just met you, and you're the captain, but, you know, I need to have sex, so let's go for it. Do not, under any circumstances, allow Shelly, Godfrey, to leave this ship. He won't know where the Galactica is and the fleet is, right? There wouldn't be any way for him to know that. At least I don't think there would be. So I don't exactly know what the purpose of what they're doing is. You can manipulate. 
manipulate this to make it look like him, though. That does kind of look like him right there. But there are many ways around security. Now, listen, if I could join you in the lab for just, just two minutes of your time, I could show you. I, I really don't think that that's possible. Gator, listen to me. Nobody would need to know. It would just be you and me. Just you and me. The desperation here makes it sound like you're guilty. Desperate as fuck. You should have gone directly to the cap to Adama and just been like, yo, buddy. She looks exactly like this girl that I was sleeping with. Like I would just that's what I would say. Would I be looked at as a traitor? Man, I don't know. And I am convinced, in fact, that she is a Cylon agent. There we go. In my opinion, she should be locked up before she could do any more damage. I like I actually find this very, I don't know if I like it, but like I find it very intriguing though. Him walking around his house, but the house is actually, he's walking around his brain, trying to find her. Willing to do anything, anything at all. Damn, I don't, so what I don't like is him being this whiny little bitch in his brain, but him being like the person I want him to be this all the time. Like I want him to be this, like just be like a hard ass, Dude, but instead he's a fucking wimp most of the time. It's annoying. It's fine. It's his character, but still, it's like, bro, grow a sack, dude. Yeah, see, it's, it's easy. It's of course gonna be him. It's manipulated as fuck. Structure that? No fires were reported anywhere on the ship, Commander. Exact location of the alarm. D Wing Carter, where it intersects D Wing. That's a lab. Are you. What the fuck are you. Oh my god, you are dumb. You are truly an idiot. I thought you were gonna like do something to manipulate the footage. You're gonna just, oh no, you're just gonna destroy the, all right. So in this world, is manipulating of disc or footage not a thing? That's what it feels okay. like. Here's where we are, Doctor. If anyone can be a Cylon, and it's hard to tell us apart, then we only have one thing left to trust. Our instincts, our feelings. And the moment they told me it was your face in the photo, I knew I believed it. Wow, okay. Her reaction to seeing the word Cylon is weird, unless she's starting to have doubts, which I guess she should, but they're not, they haven't really shown her have doubts in herself yet. We all know the blonde lady, the blonde girl's about to walk in. Um, six, what's her name, my six? Oh, wow, he's gonna pray, okay. Why are the Cylons religious? Because they were created, or like they actually have a creator. Like, like they know their creator, so therefore they believe in their, their one God. Or do they believe in our God? I haven't even had a trial yet. No, no, wait, it's a lie, it's a lie. Doctor, it's all right. It's a lie. The photograph was a fake. 
book? Yes. <laughs> it's almost seamless, but you, your face, the man, the reflection, is all a fake. There we go. Yes. I would give this dude the biggest I just knew that you could never have anything to do with that attack. I mean, man. That kind of man. Man. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, I didn't do that, but... Reported in, sir. There's no sign of her. That's unacceptable. She was here. She was right here. How did that happen? She, she didn't just vanish. Have them check again. Every ship? Wait. Every ship, including this one. Can she pop out into, like, out of thin air and become a person? Guys is both... Small, practical question there. Shelly Godfrey. Oh, was there ever a woman really called Shelly Godfrey? Did Where'd she, she come ever from? actually exist? Was she ever really here? Hmm. Okay. I'll be 100% with you guys. I don't know how I feel about this episode completely. Um, like, I've... I've pretty much loved every episode we've had. Like, had. They've been all 8s, 9s, 10s, miniseries, all that stuff. I don't know if I gave the miniseries... <gasps> Like, if I were to go back, I'd probably give um, this one probably the best score. But, like... Hmm. I don't know how I feel about this one. I didn't love it. Hmm. But it did do a lot of character stuff that I liked. Hmm. Like, a part of me really wants to give it Honestly, yeah. like a seven. But oh, I don't know. We're, we'll go back through the episode. We'll figure it out. But I'm leaning towards like a seven right now. It was just a lot of stuff I didn't care about. Uh, some cliche stuff. The Shelly Godfrey thing. Is that going to be something we come back to? Or is that going to be something that we're supposed to just forget about? Because I feel like that should be a thing. Like she showed up and disappeared. And they kept saying she couldn't have disappeared. Because at first I was like, wait, like, could she manifest a, like a, a legit person out of the mind of him and then go back into his mind? Is that what they were getting at? I also just do not give, I give zero fucks. Zero fucks of what, what's happening on Earth or on Caprica. Like, I just do not care at all. Like they had sex and I was just like, okay, sex. Uh, then Boomer being weird. I don't know. I'm trying to think if I knew if I had somebody that would, and they were that weird, would I question their weirdness? I don't know. Let's break down the episode though. We'll we'll figure it out. We'll, we'll figure. It. We'll come down on a score. Um, so the episode starts off. We're essentially. Looking at some things, um, he guy Gaius is in his brain again, which I both love and and kind of annoyed at that. Um, I love it the concept of it of him walking around his brain. His brain is his house or his like condo, whatever you want to call it. I think that's a cool concept. What he does in it is all sexual most of the time, and I liked him looking for her. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure. Like, I guess I, I both love and hate that at the same time. The reason I don't love it is because he doesn't do anything in it, honestly, that matters. And then when we come out of it, he's always in like these weird ass situations, like where, he, like here, when uh, the um, what's her name, Knox, the one girl, Knox. Um, the, I'm gonna say the black girl because we don't have any people of color in the show really. But when she knocks, what's her name? I don't know. We've had it before, but what's her name on the show? Yeah, well, whatever. We get into an argument because of, uh, there we go, her. What's her name? Uh, Anastasia Duala. Yeah, so Anastasia, that interaction, it's always like meant for, it's always, he, him coming out of it, it always meant as like for it to be comedy. And it just keep, it just keep, it keeps being the same joke. <laughs> like, oh, a sexual thing. And then a comedy. Uh, this 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 had this had um, us question a lot of things about God, because I, I was asking like what what God do they believe in? 
And also, why does she believe in God so heavily? Is it is she just because she was pretending to be human for so long, she just gravitated towards the basic human concept of God? Like some higher power? Or is it because she was made? Therefore, she has a creator. Therefore, she believed the, the whole God. I was questioning that. Um, Let's see. Okay, so... He gets called to the thing. He pisses her off with his joking about God and then him trying to have sex with her in his dream again. Um, we get to the thing. I thought this was executed well. Him like saying, oh, you're about you're here, or whatever. Talking and then it being an actual person. Like an actual human. My name's Shelly. She had proof. I, I, I thought that was all good. Um, He starts to like crumble. Uh, he starts to at one point he calls the he calls the um the president tries to get her on his side but she gets sick um she has proof of everything we do stuff with the footage I didn't <sighs> why the sex thing later why that with the, with Adama why does she try to have sex with Adama I don't why I don't understand. Just if your job is one thing, why would that work? Uh, I love this. I love so what Boomer said. I like about it being a pet. Awesome. Her weird touching thing about the thing. If I was the boyfriend, I'd be like, "What are you doing?" Um, but I like that, and I like the uh, Starbucks coming back later and it responding to her. I like that a lot. Um, but Starbucks pushed the thing at the bottom. Do we know if he did that? I'm guessing he did, right? Uh, we have the shitty doctor who smokes. We have Starbuck kind of like doing something surprising, not trying to get back out there. She's probably, she probably has some small minor PTSD. does not want to get back out there. She wants the pills. She wants to take the pain away. She's all about that. Uh, the doctor says it's there for him. Uh, this is the moment where he tries to talk to the president. Um, She's still hiding the whole fact that she has cancer. She doesn't, it's, she's it's gonna have to come out. My guess is Adama becomes president next, if that's how it goes. If she does, I mean, she is gonna die. I mean, I don't think there's any cure. Um, so this scene, what was the purpose? I didn't understand this scene. Him doing, she, her saying, Do you ever get lonely? The touch of a body, like all this stuff, right? But for what? You had a job, and then I didn't, this didn't gain anything. It's anything this. This had this sprung distrust in you, because you're like, I don't know. It was weird. I don't know. I thought that was weird. I really love that scene. Uh, then we get stuff to the the Earth, which like I said, I don't care about. So we're just gonna kind of hop over that. Uh, we have this guy trying. I did like Gaius's desperation. It very much fit his character. His desperation, <laughs> and how how desperate and how dumb he like looked doing all this crazy shit. I very much liked it. Um, him going here, him talking to this guy, him confronting the girl. His desperation was top notch. Um, and then the one dude, um, what's his name? Um, Felix is just like, oh man, I just wanted to take a shit, man. What? Come on, man. I liked all that. Him yelling at the girl, saying you're a Cylon, all of that. Her acting, you know, she doesn't know she's one. Um, so yeah, we had the whole weird scene here where Adama. Then I thought this scene was weird. I liked what she said. I liked it, but her touching was weird. And then her reaction later to saying she's a Cylon is weird. I feel like we should have built up her having doubts in herself because we haven't, I don't think we've built up having her having doubts in herself. So for her, that moment when she's like, it's not true, it's not true. Like, was that what she said, right? It didn't really hit for me. At least, like, I don't know. I feel like we should have built her having doubts because the episode where the bomb... Did she have, we haven't seen her have doubts. We have doubts, we know, so you know, we see that, but she hasn't really doubted herself and we haven't really seen that. To think about it, if you had the whole bomb scenario, right, with the water episode, then you had the whole episode where um, a suicide bomber got in through something that you probably left open. Then you have this moment here with the ship where you're like practically handsy with the ship, right? Then you have the whole Cylon thing. I feel like we should be seeing her have doubts, questioning herself. I don't know. I guess then again, we don't. They they don't. I guess she doesn't know that Cylons don't know. I don't know. I don't know. 
Um, and also, she came here. I thought she had a paper in her hand. Did she have a paper in her hand? I thought she was going to give him something. Hey, what's up? Like she, I thought she wanted to talk, and then she just leaves. I liked uh, Homeboy's approach to this, because it was like double psychology, but then it was like double, double psychology. <laughs> I like that. Um, guy is searching, guy is being desperate, calling her a Cylon, pulling a fire alarm, then probably doing the dumbest shit. Then after... After Adama tells you if it's you, we're going to take everything away and your treason and all that. Hmm, what do you do here? I mean, it's a DVD player. Why not eject the disc, break the disc? I don't know. I'm not sure what you do here. I guess he did what you have to do. He just freaked out. I don't know. Then she hits his face, which I kept saying, how do you know that it wasn't manipulated? Shouldn't we, like that be a thing in this world and maybe it's not an established thing and that's why when Felix you know messes with it and finds it like a big thing I don't know um yeah so he just goes to jail Starbuck comes here um so I bet Starbuck gives this thing a name and I bet it responds like it's gonna be like a it'll turn into like it's own own pet like a, like a another human that we care about <laughs> the ship she, you know, she gets in there and then somehow magically turns it on. But she did push the thing. But maybe if it is a pet and it does respond to her because she patched it up, makes sense. Um, we have this whole situation with the president, her not believing, him pleading his case, and I thought he was gonna tell her to go frack off. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, let's see. We have this thing, which I'm just going to skip because I could give two rats ass about it. Uh, we have this scene. Her reaction to this is weird. Right? I mean, it's gotta be, it's a little weird. I think it's a little weird. She's like, it's not true. It's not true. That means that you're having doubts, but we haven't established that you're having doubts in who you are as a person. Hmm. I don't know. Um, I didn't hate this scene. I just find it weird. That's all. Him, so he pr okay. So this scene, right? He prays, which is what the one girl wanted to prove a point. Um, and then she comes back. Then as soon as she comes back, Felix, you know, saved his ass with the whole footage, you know, thing. And now Shelly's gone. So this brings back the question again that I asked earlier: Did she manifest a, hu a, a a human version of herself in the real world? And then once she needed, she didn't need it anymore. She went back into his brain. Like, what the fuck? What is happening there? Right? What is that? Hmm. Um. And yeah, that was the plan the whole time. Uh, to get him to be now, he can't be a traitor. He can't be treasonous or whatever. But then again, guys, it's back to sex. I thought we were gonna get an answer about Shelly. We didn't because she got naked. And Gaius is just that person. But like I said, I both love Gaius. And I both hate guys. His character is interesting most of the time. But then he does a lot of dumb shit that I'm like, brother, what the fuck? So I don't know. Like I said, I'd probably give this episode a seven. It's for me the worst episode that we've had, um, honestly. Because I enjoyed Litmus. I thought Litmus was pretty cool with the interrogation stuff. I enjoyed everything out. Yeah, it's probably my, my least favorite episode, honestly. I'd give it a seven, honestly. That's where I'm at right now. Uh, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Head over to Patreon. Fully uncut, unedited reactions over there. If you want them, if you don't, that's cool. You can get episodes here whenever they show up. Um, yeah, but I'm gonna get out of here, and I'll talk to you guys later.